Hiya! Welcome! I've got a pretty big box to open here. This is from a company called Hull Pops. You may have seen a few unboxings from me from purchases I've made from Hull Pops in the past. Great company, UK based of course. I got an email from them a couple of days ago saying that five, yes, there's going to be five pops in here that I'd pre-ordered had been dispatched, which was a surprise to me because I wasn't expecting these to be coming out for at least another month, even longer. So to get them this early is great. The bundle that I ordered, there was actually seven altogether, but there's two that aren't in stock. Hull Pops are brilliant, they'll send those out the moment they're in stock, but to get five of them so early is fantastic. The price that I paid, I think with a 5% discount, free postage as it was over a certain amount, for the seven Pops it worked out at 60 something pounds. And like I say, there's five here, and then hopefully the other two i don't know there must be some delay with the supplier assuming that they're out at the same time as these really excited by this bundle can't wait to show you so let's waste not a moment longer the trusty yellow knife is here let us have a sorrisal you let's get into this whole pops are always brilliant at packaging as well he says as he's cutting into an invoice. There we go. This is a range that I don't think are massively popular within the Funko community, but it's the franchise that I've been a fan of since I was a child. And I love these, and I'm really glad that more of this particular line has been released. We don't all have to like Marvel and Star Wars and all them lot where you get like a thousand pops and a thousand of each variant released double box look so we have slizzle number two the sequel i don't think i've cut into that deep enough there we are that's better ah yeah all right i shall take these one at a time Just before i get going there is a packing slip there and we've got the traditional Hull Pops flyer. Go and check them out and of course make sure you use my affiliate link for a 5% discount every time. That is in the description of course. I'll grab this one first. It is James Bond, the Daniel Craig James Bond from Casino Royale. Oh yeah! Box looks in perfect condition, as I figured it would be. Whole pops, they don't mess around there. Ah, oh, marvellous. I've got all the ones from the first James Bond wave that I wanted, which, when did they come out? Two years ago, maybe a bit less. The first wave was, I think, the first set of pops that I started collecting once I decided I was going to get more than just wrestling pops. So, great to finally add some more of these to the collection. These will be out of box pops, but as we've got five of them, I'm not going to open all these on camera. There is the other range. Won't spend too long looking at that either because I will be able to show you most of these. Yes, there will be more in this line coming up. It looks marvellous with his blue tux on. And Casino Royale is my favourite ever Bond film. It was Daniel Craig's first as 007. Fantastic film. Five stars for me. It's quite interesting actually this. Because on the back it looks like the Casino Royale James Bond comes in a black suit. But it's a navy blue suit. So I don't know if that's a mistake from Funko. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, if they'd sent me the Quantum of Solace one by accident, I wouldn't have minded. I wouldn't send it back. As long as I've got a Daniel Craig Bond, I collect one character per series. So, I don't know. It's not a chase, neither. As far as I know, there is no chases due in this range. But, um, yeah, interesting. You can tell it's meant to be the Casino Royale Daniel Craig because he's got the smaller gun there. I, I don't know if you can see that, but the Quantum of Solace Craig has got rather a larger gun anyway 
Brilliant. Wonderful. Let's see what we've got next. We have got Eve Moneypenny from Skyfall. Played by, uh, is her name Naomi something? Possibly. Sorry, I should really remember. Great film, Skyfall. A lot of people's favourite Daniel Craig film. Me, I still think Casino Royale is superior, but Skyfall is pretty damn good too. She too is holding a pistol. She's got a little wristwatch on. Apologies for not taking these out and showing you in a little more detail, but it would just make this video really long. These pops will be going in my cabinet there. As you can see, I have made room. Next one in this five is Le Chief from Casino Royale, played by Mads Mikkelsen, he of the Carlsberg ads fame, and he, of course, was the lead role in the TV series of Hannibal, which is a series I really must start watching again. I've only seen the first season so far, and I love the Hannibal Lecter movies. Here is Le Chief. he's got his big weapon in his hand, Ur, that he, well, frankly, in Casino Royale, he used that to give James Bond repeated wax in the bollocks. So there we are. What a lovely thing for a toy to have, a bollock whacker. <laughs> Excellent. We've got, oh, she's slightly coming out of her box. Look, it doesn't matter because I'll be taking her out anyway, but it is Honey Rider from Doctor No. Oh, she looks marvellous with that iconic white bikini. Played by Ursula Andrus in the first ever Bond film, Doctor No. Once again, fantastic condition for the boxers. Brilliant stuff. Yep, she looks marvellous. Very attractive indeed. And the last one in this bundle, it's another baddie. Which one is it? Have you guessed yet? Probably not, because it's this guy. Baron Samedi, I can never pronounce his name, Samedi, Baron Samedi, Samedi from Live and Let Die, Live and Let Die of course was Roger Moore's first James Bond film, he took the role over from Sean Connery who in turn had took the role from the only one time Bond that we've had so far, George Lazenby. So yes, as I said, I'm due a couple more from this wave. Hopefully, I'll be getting notification from Hull Pops about those pretty soon. I'm a big James Bond fan. The Pops don't seem particularly popular with Funko collectors like, say, a lot of Marvel, Harry Potter, Star Wars, etc. do. But for me, it's a must-have line because I'm such a big James Bond fan. I have been since I was a child love all the films well i say love all the i've watched all the films there's some of them that are kind of ropey but never mind so i won't tell you which others that i'm due it's easy to find out it's just whichever ones i didn't unbox on here not including quantum of solace 007 but there's a couple more and i will unbox those in a separate video when they arrive but thank you all for watching and thank you once more to hull pops for outstanding service packaged well double boxed and with some nice padded air there always appreciate that from the guys at hull pops make sure you check them out like i say there is a discount in the description follow the link there is also discounts and affiliate links for culture freak pop in a box and all things vinyl i'm going to go now and take all five of these fantastic 007 new wave james bond pops and put them in my cabinet alongside wave number one there and i do hope that you will join me again next time for my next big massive epic funko pop unboxing cheers everyone see ya